are you guys ready to make this delicious mushroom chowder? It's about to be so freaking good. And of course, as with any good recipe, you are gonna start with the basics, which is onion, garlic, and we're gonna do some mushrooms in a frying pan. A little side tip, if you've never seen a chef cut before, cut down one way on the onion, cut down the other way on the onion. You'll see there's all these nice little squares, and then when you cut this way, look, it's already minced. A little pro tip, look, you're already learning stuff in this first recipe, baby. All right, so one minced onion, and then a metric freaking ton of mushrooms. No, uh, a pound of mushrooms, but you know, give or take, and it can be any type of mushroom, and we're just going to, we're just gonna loosely mince these as well. Try not to lose them. Oh my gosh, I've lost like six. How you mince them does not matter because you are going to blend them after cooking. All right, so now you are just gonna put those minced onions right into the frying pan with the mushrooms and also four cloves of minced garlic. Everything, all at once. And then the garlic. All right, so a little bit more than four cloves. I like my garlic, sue me. All right, so as you can see, there is a lot of plant material in this pan right here. So it's gonna take a long time to cook the water out. This is gonna be the hardest part of the actual recipe, or at least the longest part. Once this all cooks down a bit, then we move to the next step. Next step, we are just going to take some potatoes and cut them into little chunks. Now, I have these super awesome little baby wild potatoes, but if you just have regular russet potatoes, probably two to three of those potatoes will be fine. And yeah, I just wanted some colorful ones. I thought they look really, really cool. So cutting these in half, and once these are cut in half, we're just going to take them, and we're going to add it to a pot of boiling water over here. And so now 10 minutes later, all of the water has cooked out. We have this nice browning going on, which is what's gonna add all that good flavor in here. And now we're going to deglaze the pan by adding two cups of veggie broth up in here. Yeah, woo, it's getting steamy. Okay, and then to add the creaminess to this, we're going to add three cups of any type of milk that you want, any nut milk or soy milk is what I'm using, and I use soy milk because it has a ton of protein. It's also much creamier, in my opinion. Coconut and soy milk are my choices for creamy. So just with these three cups of soy milk, we've added 21 grams of protein. And so now we're gonna let it boil for about three or four minutes just to let the flavors assimilate and marry together, as they would say on the Food Network. All right, so now it's boiled down for, yeah, about four or five minutes, and it's gotten a little bit thicker. It's also got this beautiful brown gravy-like color to it. So now we're just gonna throw this into a blender, and we're gonna blend, like so. Oh my gosh, it smells so good, look at this. Woo! Okay, so as you can see here, the little baby potatoes are done boiling, so we're just gonna strain this. We're gonna add our blended up soup right back into the bowl here. Don't wanna lose any drops. Personally, I wanna add a little pepper. Of course, it's already salted, so you don't need to salt it, but I love me some pepper. Now is where we're gonna add some more protein, so I'm gonna add garbanzo beans, chickpeas, but you could add any type of bean. You could also add tempeh or tofu or really anything you want to. And finally, in go our big old chunks of potatoes. And this is ready to plate. Look how creamy that is. Hold on, hold on, let me do a little taste test. Mmm. <laughs> oh my gosh! I wanna rub that all over my body! Okay, and so if you're gonna eat this later, you get your little meal prep container and you can store it away in there. Or if you're gonna do what I'm gonna do, which is eat some of it right now, you can put it right into a bowl right now. All right, so it's ready to eat. Or if you wanna add a little something extra, you can always throw nutritional yeast on there as well. Adds a little bit of some protein, some extra minerals and vitamins and all that good stuff, but really just tastes good. All right, now this next recipe is extremely simple. Literally anybody can do it. So you're gonna boil a big pot of water and you're gonna throw a whole package of spaghetti in there. Now, what people do is they snap these bad boys in half and it kills me. I'm gonna show you the trick. What you do is you just 
wet the bottoms of the spaghetti. Okay, and then as the bottom of the noodles start to get pliable, you just keep pushing the noodles down without breaking them, right? And you twist them, and that allows you to get more and more of the noodles in. You feel them get more and more pliable until you get to this point, and then you just let them go. You ready? Boom. All of the noodles are in the water without breaking. Pro tip number two. All right, so here's the magic of this recipe. You are just going to get your blender. You are gonna throw a whole block of very soft, not the extra firm, the softest tofu that you can get into a blender, and then you are gonna add a whole jar of marinara sauce. <laughs> that is it, my friends. When you blend this, this will turn into a creamy but high protein marinara sauce that you can make into pasta. I'll be right back, let me blend this real quick. And back we are, and there you go. There's the pasta sauce. You can see it's a nice creamy texture right there. Now we just gotta wait for our noodles to boil. All right, so now the pasta has been drained, strained, and is ready for saucing. So we're just gonna pour our sauce right on top and just mix it in there. It's kind of interesting, it kind of makes like a little bit of a pink sauce. I should do a, a pretty full day eating. <laughs> There we have it, our pasta is ready to be plated or to be stored in meal prep containers. Right, I'm gonna try some. Here we go. Mmm! Yeah, that's bomb. It literally just tastes like a creamier version of marinara. I give it a 10 out of 10. All right, now I'm gonna plate it. Let's roll that beautiful B roll. Now let's start meal number three. This one is the most akin to a back in the day classic bodybuilding recipe that I used to do all the time. You'll, you'll understand in a second, but first, let's start with the first thing. And we are going to just throw a bunch of broccoli into a wok. The amount of broccoli you use is totally up to you. If you like broccoli a lot, you wanna have a lot of broccoli with your meal, then use more. Also, we're just gonna put a little bit of soy sauce in there to give it a little bit of flavor, and we're gonna let this cook down for about five or six minutes till it gets nice and al dente. Okay, now here's where the magic happens. You are just gonna take one block of tempeh, which is just high protein, basically tofu. It's made out of soybeans, but it's been fermented. With that block of tempeh, we are just going to crumble it until it gets to the size of little rice pieces. Now, if you haven't put this together quite yet, this is basically the old style chicken and rice and broccoli recipe, which is just the most simplest recipe that you know bodybuilders have been eating for ages, except we're replacing the chicken with little pieces of tempeh. We're gonna make kind of like a high protein rice. Comes into tiny little pieces that are literally the same size as rice. Perfect. Okay, now this recipe you can make as big or as small as you want. We're just going to match the amount of tempeh that we have with the amount of rice we add. So if we have one cup of tempeh, we're gonna put one cup of rice or two cups and two cups. And so we are just going to add the same amount right here. And now this is ready to go on the frying pan. And now the last step is we wanna season it. So you can do soy sauce, you could do orange sauce, you could do teriyaki sauce, whatever you want. I'm gonna do the very, very teriyaki sauce. And I'm just gonna use maybe about two tablespoons. You can use more if you want it more salty, but I don't want mine kinda of light. So something like that. And now we're just gonna heat it up on the stove. And just like that, seriously quick, you got your meal right there. This is simple, super high in protein, and definitely an easy go-to. And then of course, we're gonna store the rest of it for later consumption in meal prep containers. Right out of the shower because it was 
super hot in that kitchen. I was sweating by the end of it, so I had to jump through the shower before I ended this video. But just a few things I wanna mention about this meal prep, and really all of my meal preps, is that I know everybody's got different caloric and macro goals, so what fits me doesn't fit you, what fits someone else doesn't fit you, etc., etc., etc. We all gotta make up our own minds with how we wanna eat. I started this video with the intention of it being meal prep foods that you can make and store big batches of but I didn't necessarily think of this in a five day regimen or a seven day regimen. So if you need to make more, you can just double the recipe or if you need to make less, you can half the recipe or if you just wanna make it and eat it right there and not you know, save any of it for later, that's all fine too. I always try my best to include as much detail as possible. On this one, I try to include you know, calories and macros at the end to show you what a serving size was for me. I know it is kind of hard to come up with high protein meals off the top of your head, so that's why I do these meal prep videos as well as the full day eating videos, just to give you some inspiration and just get your, your brain triggered onto a, a new type of meal that you can have, and you don't necessarily have to make it exactly the way that I make it. For example, these meals that I made, I would eat them and I am gonna eat them, but I also would include a lot more stuff, a lot more calories, especially from carbs, and I would definitely add more vegetables. Now again, I make these so that you can take them and turn them into your own. So I don't know what vegetables you like. I don't know if you like to eat vegetables in the meal. I like to eat my vegetables on the side and then eat the meal. I don't like to mix them as much. And so yeah, whatever you need, make it happen for you. If you wanna throw some bell peppers in there, throw some bell peppers in there. If you wanna throw some, you know, whatever in there, throw some whatever in there. I have had a super, super busy week, but I've been trying to make sure that I stay on the content. As you guys may know, I have a second channel called Team Acne, where I also create acne content over there, so that is also something that takes a lot of my time and effort. And I also have just launched a new couple channel with my girlfriend, Sammy. It's called Sammy and Brian. And so a lot of you guys ask me for stuff that's different than just fitness and, and diet and, and things like that. You ask me for vlogs, and that's one of the big reasons I wanted to make that channel is because we're gonna be able to free vlog there more often and I won't have to think so when I make content for this channel I really try to be meticulous and perfectionist about it and I think sometimes it's to my detriment because I don't end up making things like vlogs because I don't feel like they're polished enough so over there I'm gonna be a little bit more free and not worry about videos being so damned polished and with that my beautiful friends and family homies and homets I appreciate you guys coming in here if you enjoyed it give it the big old thumbs up let me know what you thought in the comments below and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Team Beyond the Week, CT. Lift heavy or die, Myron, motherfucker. Mm. Team Beyond the Week, CT. Lift heavy.